Hello everyone, I'm Lynn from the Sharon Force Library, coming to you from my dining room. Today, I have Leighton here to help me. We are going to show you how to make a do-it-yourself bookmark with a personal touch to it that you and your kids can do together. These make great gifts. You will need a piece of cardstock. And if you don't have cardstock on hand at home, you can use a gift box a shoe box, a, the back of a note card, or a discarded greeting card. You will also need a hole punch, punch a hole in the top of your bookmark. You'll need a piece of ribbon, a black marker, a stamp pad, and if you don't have a stamp pad, you can always just use a Crayola marker and any other kind of materials such as colored pencils or markers or stickers that you'd like to decorate your bookmark with. Okay, we're going to start with our bookmark and our black marker. We're going to make the body of the butterfly first. And if you're working with a younger child, you may want to trace the outline of that for them, just as I'm doing, and then just have them color it in. So your child will be doing this coloring in. Some little antenna on there. How are you doing over there, Layton? Okay, we're ready to do our wings? Yes. Okay, now we're going to take our stamp pad. And if you're working with a younger child, you're going to take their little finger. You're going to press it every time into the stamp pad for each section of the wing. You're going to do the top wings pointing upwards. Press again. Upwards, and then the bottom wing, bottom part of the wing, is going to be pointing downwards. And then you may want to have a wet wipe on hand to clean up those little fingers. what we have so far. If you'd like, and this is a personal preference, you can put some little dots in the wings just for a little bit of a uh, dimension.
And now you are ready to decorate your bookmark any way you'd like. You can put flowers on your bookmark. You can put a ladybug, the sunshine. Uh, on the back of my bookmark, if I'm going to give it as a gift, I've written to who I'm giving it to. This says to mom from Lynn. And I've also put the date, May 2020. Uh, that's uh, totally up to you what you put on the back if you're going to give it as a gift. Okay. The very... I am using some stickers on mine. If you have stickers at home, you can add those to your bookmark. I'm going to put on a couple little flower petals on that. I'm going to put a little bit of grass on the bottom of mine. And whatever else you want to put on there is totally up to you. We're ready to put our ribbon through our bookmark, so we're going to fold it in half and take the open end and we're going to feed it through the hole that we have punched in the top of the bookmark. And once we get that fed through, we're going to just put our ribbon through the loop, pull it tight. And we are finished. Thank you for helping me out today, Layton. You did a great job. Thank you for joining us today. I hope everyone stays safe and have a great day.